What's up? So, I wanted to make a video showing uh, the controller and steering wheel settings for Assetto Corsa. Uh, the steering wheel settings were easy for me. I've had Assetto Corsa on PC for a couple years and I've had plenty of time to figure out the best settings. Um, and here they are. Uh, if, especially if you have a Thrustmaster T300, they're perfect. Um, if you don't, if you have another wheel, you might have to change the force feedback setting at the top. Um, might have to make it stronger because most wheels are a little weaker than the T300. But um, otherwise, the settings should be fine. I mean, the curb setting I'd say is kind of up to preference, as well as the understeer effects uh, is up to preference. But definitely make sure you have the road FFB there and the slip FFB there. Very important. Um, and the uh, force feedback, just make sure you don't put it too high to where there's clipping because you'll be losing out on some of the forces that you're supposed to be getting at the wheel if you make it too strong and your wheel just can't handle it. That does happen and you have to be very aware of that, which is why I have it set it so low at 45. It's because the wheel's already strong. Putting it up at 100 or even higher than 45 is just too much. Don't need it. Uh, the controller settings were a little bit harder to come up with, um, and what I was trying to do is trying to get a balance in between all the cars in a Seto Corsa because settings that will be perfect for one car might not be perfect for another um, because each car handles so differently that you can't really make anything. And you can't make a perfect setting, it, you just kind of have to be a balance as well as balancing between control and making it not too twitchy like you want to still have full range of control over the steering wheel so that you know if the car does get loose you're, you're able to make actual corrections to that instead of just spinning out every time and not having any control over it uh, which is something that can happen if you have the steering filter setting too high um, and that was one that like was the most detrimental to the whole thing like even putting it up at 25 was too much um, so I do not do not change that setting trust me on that same thing with the steering gamma like I what I did was I put them all at 0% and then put one at a time up to 100 just to see what each felt like and what each actually do to the control settings and like four for the gamma was actually the best setting and the funny thing is is um is four is actually less twitchy than one you would think that making it higher would make it more twitchy and more responsive but actually it's the opposite and four is really the best uh the w one that is up for interpretation is steering speed and speed sensitivity um speed sen sensitivity doesn't have a huge effect on the controller and how it responds but steering speed definitely does but some people will inevitably want the steering to be less twitchy um, and that is the one you would want to change if that's the case change the steering speed the dead zone I think is okay uh, you could put it up to 10 but I wouldn't go past that um, also if you're on Xbox one I think you would actually want it right where it is or maybe even lower because Xbox one the six have a little bit more of a dead zone in the in the sticks uh, also the steering speed is another thing you might want to adjust because the sticks are you know maybe more or less twitchy I guess um, so basically it if you prefer something if you don't like the settings completely then that is what I would change the steering speed another thing is is don't um, get hung up on what the, the driver's arms are doing in the cockpit because it's really not meant to match a joystick like on a controller it's meant to match a, someone using an actual steering wheel which is why in the video options of Assetto Corsa they actually have visual steering wheel lock so um, if the arms are flailing around too much on these settings just lower the visual steering lock that's what I suggest if it's driving you nuts uh, personally I think you should when you first try these settings try doing it on hood camera or something so that you don't see the steering wheel then after that try this you know from cockpit view and then if it's like the arms are going too wild for your liking just change the visual steering lock lower it 
and that will kind of take care of some of the animation there but uh, otherwise these things are very good and I put a lot of effort into making sure that they would be good for all the different types of cars in a set of Corsa uh, but that's about it uh, copy them down um, and enjoy